Responding to crisis means asking the people in crisis about their needs. Ensuring that we do not descend into increased protectionism and conflict as we have in the past. You need to work out why you've got a problem and then you need to solve it. And often that requires new ways of thinking and doing things that previously you had thought uh, were not desirable. Our research found that uh, the vaccine can stop an outbreak. For me, responding to crises is more of a long-term thing, not the immediate thing of what happens in the couple of days afterwards. The discrimination that girls face in their early childhood and adolescence tends to continue into adulthood. Responding to crisis does not mean doing the same thing that you did in the previous crisis. What happens 20, 30, 40 years after a crisis? We have seen progress in the last 25 years. There's more investment in child health, and we have seen reduction in child mortality. Responding to the jobs crisis that is currently in sub-Saharan Africa and is about to hit at an even bigger scale than ever. Delivering on people's needs when they are in a life-threatening position. And that means being prepared and taking seriously the investments that are needed in order for good jobs to be created in the future. Understanding that there is a silent emergency throughout the world that afflicts children and women primarily. Pay attention to those people who need help today. What were the most effective interventions and have we really put our resources in these interventions.